so we understood all these uh, four different activity ratios now let's come to certain questions uh, keep it in mind that these questions are going to be basic in the starting but over time they will become very very complex and those kinds of questions have been and can be asked in the examination and therefore we need to be very thorough with these kinds of questions especially from activity ratios the first question is theoretical which of the following is useful in evaluating credit and collection policies now whenever you have credit and collection policy that means how much time will it take for you to collect people uh, collect money from the people who owe you money and how many debtors do you have that means how much credit have you given out to people so credit and debit often becomes con confusing because a debtor is a person who owes you money but you have given money to him on credit he is not a creditor but he has taken credit from you he is a debtor but he is not debting money that means he uh, owes you money you have not taken money from him so he owes you credit he credit he you have credited him uh, by certain amount but he is not a creditor so the answer is average collection period very very simple answer even if you have uh, even if you can collect connect these uh, dots of collection collection you can answer the question average collection period in short means the amount of money that it the amount of time that it takes to collect money from people or from organizations who have purchase something from you or loaned money from you the second question is which of the following ratios measures the speed with which various accounts are converted into sales or cash the answer is activity ratios liquidity ratio deals with how liquid the organization is or how much liquid cash or liquid money does it have debt is not uh, any ratio profitability means how much profit can you generate from the revenues of the organization but it does not measure the speed with which accounts are converted into sales or cash that is if you put in 10 lakh money 10 lakh rupees into the enterprise how much time will it take to generate revenue of let's say 12 lakh or any amount so activity ratio measures that particular time period let's come to a practical question calculate creditors turnover ratio from the following information so first of all let's uh, write down the acronym of creditors turnover ratio so we have trade receivable turnover ratio and trade payable turnover ratio trade payable turnover ratio is also called as creditors turnover ratio and the formula is the acronym is cpp for this cpp if you break it down it is net credit purchase cp is credit purchase upon average payable so here Uh, you we have created an acronym but the full form is net credit purchase upon average payable okay now let's go through all these uh, figures that have been given and then we'll uh, try to find out the answer so you remember that it is cpp okay total purchases are 8 lakh 40000 cash purchase is 70000 purchase return 40000 creditors at the end of the year bill payable at the end of the year provision for discount on credit so this provision will not be required at all we can remove this we have to find out net credit purchase and then we have to find out average payable net credit purchase will be total purchase minus cash purchase will be credit purchase and when then we reduce purchase return so we will come out with net credit purchase which in this case comes out to be 7 30 1000 so 7 lakh 30000 is the net credit purchase that we have upon average payable creditors at the end of the year average payable and bp at the end of the year both are added in order to find out the average payable which will be 1 lakh 40000 now because at the end of the year are given we we don't have bp at the starting of the year and creditors at the starting of the year therefore we are not going to divide it by 2 this we are not going to do we are just going to use the values of creditors at the end of the year and bp at the end of the year which is 1 lakh 40000 when we divide this we come to the answer that is 5.21 times so the answer is c 5.21 times